Hello and welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toy in here and I'm actually on campus today. I am doing my first event on campus since the pandemic began. I'm speaking at orientation for the students who are in this special program that are taking pre-calculus with me for the July summer session. So I'm excited to share this video from a new location. So today I'm going to be talking about some things that you can do to prepare for your first semester of grad school or even if you're going back um, for the next semester of grad school. Um, if you start in the fall, you're about a month out. So I'm going to share five plus one bonus um, things that you can start looking at and doing to help you prepare for a smooth transition into your next semester or first semester of grad school. So if you're interested in that, keep watching this video. So I'm Toyin. I'm the founder of the Academic Society. I got my PhD in math and landed my dream job as a lecturer at a university. And I also create these videos um, about time management and productivity for uh, grad students and academics. Okay, so let's talk about what to do when you're like about to start grad school really soon. And a lot of people say, you know, you should do a lot of work to prepare, but a lot of people say that you should rest and relax. I do think resting and relaxing is important, but you can also do it in a very productive way. And so some of the things that I'm going to share today are things you can do while you're relaxing and resting in preparation for uh, this next journey. So the first thing I highly recommend, especially about a month or two weeks out, is to get into a good sleep schedule, right? You probably don't want to be staying up past midnight every single night and then um, have to take an 8 a.m. class in your grad program. So definitely check out your schedule and figure out, okay, when should I be getting ready for bed? When should I be waking up and start training your body to do that? right now so that you don't have any issues when you're in a new environment. Also, you've probably heard that grad school involves a lot of reading, a lot of time for work. And so while you're relaxing, you may be reading some books for pleasure or you may be reading some books to prepare for your semester. But I highly recommend uh, to schedule your reading time now when you think you'll be reading during the semester. So maybe you have a big block of time in the mornings in your schedule, or maybe you have afternoon or evening time that you think you'll be reading during your first semester of grad school. Start trying to read during that time now so your body can get adjusted and so you can be, your body will be like, oh, it's this time of day, should I be reading something? Instead of not preparing to do that work during that time, and then when the time comes, your body is like all over the place and maybe distracting you and maybe you won't feel motivated to do work at that specific time. So start training now. And by the way, I actually have a reading list for graduate students that the people in my Facebook group, they came up with this list of books that grad students must read that will really help. And I'll include that in the description of this video. I'll probably link it above here somewhere as well. Number three, it's really important to set up your non-negotiables. So these are things that you wanna make sure that you continue to do even when the semester gets busy. Whether it's me time, self-care, hanging with friends, whatever you think that you need to like feel like an actual person to feel like yourself, start writing those things down and get specific. Like how often do you need to talk with your friends? How often do you need to get your nails done? How often do you need to go to, out to dinner, right? Actually sit down and think about how much you would actually need those things and start figuring out how you can add that into your grad school schedule so that you can feel like you throughout the process. Then setting up a budget. It's really important to know how much money you can spend, how much is your stipend if you have a stipend. Maybe you can figure out an estimated tax amount that will be taken out. Um, it may be worth it to call into the office and talk to the finance or the business person in the office and ask like what day of the month or week or when, how often you'll be paid, right? That's important things. That's something that's really important to know. Um, so it's something you can start figuring out right now. And number five, learn about yourself. Learn about who you are. Self-awareness is so important in grad school. It's important for self-advocacy and standing up for yourself, but it's also important for knowing when, how you work best, knowing when you need to get rest. If you find that you don't know that much about yourself, I highly recommend like little assessments. I love the Myers-Briggs assessment. I am an INFJ and I actually was at a conference, a conference type of thing, and we had like event after event after event, followed by a networking event. And I was just like, 
I can't do this. I have to go to my hotel room right now. And I was like, why can't I just be around people all day? And so I did the Myers, I think I went to 16 personalities, took the Myers Briggs assessment, found out I was INFJ. I'm extremely introverted. I'm, I think I'm like 93% introvert, which means that being around people really drains me and I need to have that time to recuperate. So instead of networking that day, I just stayed in my um, hotel room for three hours and I felt so much better. So knowing things about yourself like that can be really helpful. I love the Enneagram. I'm a type five, the investigator. I love to like figure things out. I loved knowledge for knowledge sake, which is why grad school was a, play, a great place for me. Um, so knowing how you act in the react to things in the world is really helpful to know when you're going to grad school and also I re recently took strengths finder now that's something you can't really take for free so I purchased the book that came with the access code to take um, strengths finder and I learned that my top strength is maximizer and I've never considered that before but that just means that instead of looking at things I'm not great at and try to figure out how to get better at those things I focus on the things that I'm already good at and get even better I maximize the things that I'm already good at and I don't really worry about the things that I'm not great at and that's something that's wonderful about myself that I love that I know that about myself all right so those are my five things that you can start doing now to prepare for grad school I actually have one more bonus tip the last bonus tip is to take my grad school prep course so I have a course um, that helps you prepare for your first semester of grad school and if you would love to learn more about it you can watch my free master class on what to expect in your first semester of grad school and in there I share three big mistakes that first semester grad students tend to make pretty much always and I share exactly how to avoid those things and how to like look for little evidence and clues that these um, these mistakes may be coming up for you and I also share my four-step grad boss framework for actually preparing for your first semester of grad school so if you're interested in that go to the academic society.com forward slash free to check that out so after filming this video, I actually got an email, um, which is a response to an email that I sent a student. So when students enroll in my program, Grad School Prep, I like to, you know, check in on them to make sure they're utilizing the program and like how to get the most out of the program. And this person recently purchased the program like a week or so ago. And um, after checking in, this was their response. They said, thank you for checking in. I'm 99% done. I took notes going to watch it again in a month before classes start watch it again and come back as needed thank you I already started using Trello I love that this student sent me this it's so timely because my grad school prep program doesn't really take more than a week so if you are like within a month or like two weeks out um, from grad school you can still get the most out of this program um, and it's not too late Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful for you. Today I create new videos every single Sunday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Have a wonderful day. Bye.